restarting. Um, let's go to um, Parakot in honor of Kodesh uh, Elul. And I, uh, my kavanah is to go back to Parakot test. I have a reason for not doing that. And here, the Nefshachayim describes Chuba. And Ubeir Prote Seder Tikunam Behis Kashrusam Aide Hachuba. So I'm going to explain the details of Tikunam Behis Kashrusam Behis Kashrus that takes place through Chuba. So I'm just, let me explain that sentence. And then I want to give you a little background here, review some background. Chuba is like, um, it's like seasonal, you know? <laughs> Nobody thinks about it until the season comes. But it's not in Maya Dim, it's in it's Chuba, something separately. They do it all the time. But certainly now, um, when, whenever the Nefeshachim speaks about Hiskashrus, just remember this, um, he's referring to the connectivity between the Nefesh, the Ruach, and the Nisham. So um, let me just review with you that the way life works is in terms of ourselves. There's a lot of different patterns. The, uh, there's the patterns of the pattern of the four alumni's Hatzilus Briyitzir Asir. There's the the uh, spheros. Everything is a different a different wrinkle in, in life. But what we're referring to is Nara, Nefesh Ruach Neshama. And if you remember the mashal that the Nefesh Achaim brings that I've spoken about many times. It's like a glass blower. Remember the glass blower? <laughs> so so um, the neshama um, is blowing kiilu a wind by yipach ba'ap of nishmas chaim through a pipe which comes into our nefesh, which is the keli. It's like the glass blower. So what we have is the, the, the ruach Hashem, which is coming from the neshama. The neshama is not Hashem, but the neshama is close to Hashem, the world of Atsilus, the world of Bria, which is getting from the world of Atsilus. The neshama is coming through. It's being blown, for some reason, blown, ruach, into the person through this pipe called ruach, and then we have our nefesh. So we, as people, right here, sitting here, we are animated and um, given a life force in this dark from the neshama, Ruach, and then to our nefesh. That's the life force that we have. Um, and that um, is it's very important that the nefesh, the Ruach, and the Shema, not just in Kabbalistic level, on a very practical level, it's very important that they're aligned. I mean, if you can imagine that the, um, the, the blowing is into the pipe, and then the Makabel is not next to the pipe. So it's not getting anything from this uh, Ruach. It's just blowing into the it's blowing in the wind, right? It's not going anywhere. Um, and then you have a question as to how is this nefesh even existing without this life force? Answer to that, too. But what's important, let's talk about lechatchila here, not what's, what's bad, but what's good. What's lechatchila here is that the nefesh is completely aligned and under the pipe called ruach, which is being energized by the neshama. So you with me? So it means to say, just let's try to, let's try to um, internalize this for a moment. It means to say that right now that we're living, right now that we're living, that we're alive, what we want to be doing is getting the strength and the energy and the decision-making ability um, and everything that we have, which should be coming from our neshama. Neshama, let's look at it as up there and coming to us, and this is how this is how we're alive. This is the correct way to live, neshama ra. Um, and this is, this is done, um, the Torah tells us the great secret that that the alignment is done through mitzvahs umay simtoy. As long as, you know, there's um, Ramach Ivarim and Shesah Yidin, just like the Tariyai, the, 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 these tremendous um, tips that we have is, is all to align our nefesh and make, make our nefesh align with the Ruach. So this is, this is the essence of spirituality, that our nefesh is getting from the spirit, spirit meaning Ruach, Ruchnius, right? It's getting from the Ruach, and the Ruach is getting from the Neshama, and we're living a holy life, and a good life, and a wholesome life, and a healthy life, and and um Adam Tayr Panam, actually can show on a person's uh, face, and a person's Hanhag, and a person, what, what that person is. This is this is really the goal. Um, 
if it gets off, so then tshuva is to get it back on. If we get it misaligned, the tshuva is to realign. So the purpose of tshuva is to realign. Shekasher pogam ha'otam bechinas nafsha, ayafim garam chasashom shenifsa gub nifrasu kol ha'tes yiroisel, michachmo l'matam is kashrusa. Because what can happen is that, and this is just so fascinating, because if now that we now that we have this picture in our mind of nefesh, ruach, neshama, um, what is chasasholom kares? So kares, nechrusu ha nefesh hahim karevama. Kares ha nefesh. Kares is where the nefesh, the hainu, our life as we know it, is not attached, kares. If it's not attached, so first off, we're not living a life attached to our neshama. If it's not, a, and, and it's a different type of a life. It's a life being, um, being enlivened and being animated by Sutrathra, by Klippos, which we're going to learn about. If it's not attached, I have no derech in Tolum Haba. So there's different types of kares, but the kares, um, from a Kabbalistic point of view, and this is important to understand, um, that is, is attached through, there's like 10 places of attachment between the nefesh and the ruach. These are called 10 spheroids. We know that you never detach all 10, only nine out of the 10. And the, and the, and the sphere of chachma, the highest chachma, is so close to ruach, it can't detach. But you can become almost detached and, and hanging on by a thread, um, nothing to do with your neshama, nothing to do with olam haba, nothing to do with HaKadosh Baruch nothing to do with Mashiach, nothing to do with anything. This is a possibility, God forbid, of kares. Uh, that's, that's what kares is. That's what krisos um, hanefesh. And it's still hanging on. So, um, but even if it's hanging on by a thread, in terms of its attachment, but teret ployim, and therefore, I might my life is is way down. Like I'm living off klipos. By the way, I'm I'm trying to get the the picture and the math here. And I'm going to try to explain this in a language we can understand. Um, so even if I'm one attached, nine down, I'm almost not attached at all. We've met people like this. They don't seem to be hooked up at all. Nevertheless, I they vidu itvarim be'emes. By saying vidui from the depth of our hearts, um, I'm, but by saying these words of vidui from my lave, I'm, I'm with my words, I'm rehooking myself up to the highest place. The goyreim, and now I'm causing she yisatzel to yisafes kedusha mimenu yisbarach shmoi at cherish on the shavat tchilim. So what now I'm doing is by 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 doing vidu. Let's just call this saying doing tshuva right now. By doing tshuva, I'm rehooking myself. So now I'm once again getting energy from my ruach, and my ruach is now already hooked up to my neshama. Omisham le nishmasai. From there it goes up to your neshama, the ruachai. And now I have a, a, a great beam of illumination, which is entering into my nefesh as a person, as a human, um, because I did Shuvah Mitzad, because it's all hooked up again. So what we want to do, the goal here is to be hooked up, and if we're not hooked up, we have a, a, a way of re-hooking up through Shuvah. And when I do that, I no longer need to be existing. You could ask this question. How is it that a person who um, has no kesher with the ruach, no kesher with the neshava, just a Russia? You know, when you say a person's into themselves, what that means, selfish, uh, that their self is their nefesh. Elikai, neshama, shinasato, b. The b is the nefesh. Right, so so the nefesh person into themselves are completely um, unconnected to the ruach and the shama. Right, so how are they alive? How are they alive? So the answer is the same way squirrels are alive, trees are alive. You can be alive, 
But your koach is not coming from the neshama. This is a choice that we have. It, like, um, so I, I want to ex explain this. Is, it's, a, it's a fantastic paragraph here. You bow, you bailed out your nephesh from jail. It was being held hostage by Klipos. Now you're reattaching them back to the rock. So you get the picture, the, the arc here? Yeah, the, the, the picture is beautiful. What it means is further afield. So first thing, um, I just want to say something that I've said a number of times before. What's important to understand is that there's, there's two, in very general terms, there's two possibilities of being alive. There's a koach of Kedusha, and there's the other side, the koach of the Sitra Achra. Sitra Achra means the other side. And that means to say, like, two generators in Shemayim, if you will. And there's the general, why Hashem did this has to do with free choice and all kinds of things. But the fact is, there's two, gener there's two generators in Shemayim. And if I'm talking deep return now, and I'm doing so Lishma, or if I'm doing a bit so Lishma, or I'm being a good person in general, so I'm getting my, I'm fulfilling my purpose, and Kodesh Baruch Hu says, okay, for this I created the Koach HaKadusha, and I'm, and I'm energizing this person with Koach HaKadusha. Your thinking is different, you can have Ruach HaKodesh. Look what you're accessing here. You, you can have, have Nevoah. It, it, it's a different, it's a, you're in a different place. If I cut that off, so now the plug goes out of the big generator in Shemayim, which is called Kedusha, gets plugged into the Sitra Akra, we don't die. But we get plugged into the Sitra Akra, and now we are being energized by Tumma. That's what Tumma is. And our life could be Tumma. But if we, we could summon, if we can't tell. We I think we could. <laughs> but, but you have to be plugged into the good side to be able to tell. <laughs> okay. So in other words, like we could see something who we think would see. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, so, it's so interesting, by the way, it's not a small talk. Like if you look in this week's Parsha, oh, you done the um, Kosmim. All of the different, uh, you know, magical witchcraft uh, things that, that that people did. This is all too. This, it's all pretty. It looks pretty. It looks pretty impressive. You know, even Avoda Zara, Avoda Zara. It looks uh, Zara. It's coming from a different place. It's very impressive. Um, you know, the, the people. Of, the reason that people are attracted and been attracted for thousands of years to Avoda Zara is not because they're, they're not spiritual people. It's because they're <coughs> spiritual people. They, they're, they're, they're looking for something that, that's, that's otherworldly, something that's coming. But what they, what they don't understand, and this is only the Tyrus Megal, we wouldn't know this, uh, only Avraham would have understood this, is that I can get my koach from the koach of Avodah Zara, from Sitra Achra Zara, El Zar, Elohim Acherim, or I can get my koach from the, the, the Sitra de Kedusha. And in one sentence, I could be talking Torah and get my koach from the Sitra de Kedusha. And then I start talking English and horror for some reason in the middle of my sentence. Out comes the plug instantaneously. God is fast. And he puts it into the Sitra Akra, and all of a sudden I'm energized from Tumma. Who wants to be energized from Klipus and from Tumma? So Haitsia, this is what David Amal said, Haitsia mi masker nafshi. Take me out of jail. I'm, 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 I'm being governed by, the, by these Klipus, and I can do very strange things and make bad decisions, and I'm living a spiritually very unhealthy life. And I have no chen. I have no chen. I have no beauty um, if, 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 I'm, if I'm being energized this way. Um, is I think it is something we can tell. There's no kedusha with me at all. There's no ruach hakodesh. Everything is self, self, self. So hoitzi adavad amel sami masker nafshi. I'm I'm imprisoned by this by this klipa. Why? Because lo hoidoy says shmecha hoidoy says lashon vidui. I want to say vidui. Adavad amel did the chet of bat bash with with bashava. I want to do. I want to get back into where it is. Um, I, I just now I want to I just explain this. On, on, um, that's just picturesque. But um, we talk about shuva. So um, the Rambam Hilchus shuva. Perak Aleph Halach Aleph. Komitz is the Rambam. Every bit of the Torah made essay, made lois to say, "Im avar adam alachas mehen." If a person's over an avar, bein bezodeg, bein bishkaga, whether it's bemezid or bishkaga, you, you you did it on purpose, you did it by accident. The the, the wonderfully famous motion of the Rambam, kishiyas shuva to give. 
when you do tshuva, the yashu mechatai, and you rehabilitate yourself, chayiv lisvados. You have to say vidu. Lifnei akel baruch hu. You have to say vidu. Ashavnu baganu bezal. You have to say vidu. Shenemar. And my pasuk is says the Rambam isha isha ki yasa. Person does an avera vihisvado es chatosav asher asu. And they should do vidu. Uh, originally, this was done on a korban. Um, the Rambam says later. Um, now that there's no korbanos, there's no seir amish taleach. There's no way to do vidu on a korban. You can do vidu. A kaddish baruch hu gave the Rambam's lashon is the more koach he went into the vidu and came out of the the, the, the koach of korban left the korban and went into vidu. So it's all about vidu. Vidu is a says the Rambam mitzvahs essay. This vidu is a mitzvahs essay. Now this is um, and he goes on to talk about korbanos etc. It's it's um this is an annoying Rambam <laughs> because when we start teaching Hilchus Tshuva, we start learning Hilchus Tshuva, nobody wants to read about Karbanas, so we all start from Parak Beis, and in Parak Beis, the Rambam starts, Parak Beis, the Rambam starts, Ezoi Tshuva Gabur, is that Shabbat Liyadah Dabr Shabbat, by Mav Shabbat Liyadah, so he describes what we know famously as Tshuva, that you have to regret the past, and you have to accept on the future, and you have to, um, you have to get to the point where you'll never do the Chet again, So that's where you should start. Hilchus Tshuva should start with what is Tshuva, and so, so the answer is to make to make a lot of Ruchos Chinuchos and a lot of Ruchai Bristers into one sentence. That the Rambam's hold the Rambam Shita is that there is no mitzvah to do Tshuva. There's no mitzvah to do Tshuva. The mitzvah is when you do Tshuva Kisha Yasa Tshuva. There's a mitzvah essay to say Vidu. Vidu is as says the Rambam. Mitzvah's essay. Vidu is mitzvah's essay. Ketzad, Omar, Shem, etc. But you get, you don't have to be Moshe White. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be Moshe White, but you do get mitzvah. Exactly. Like Gerashim. Like many, many mitzvahs. The, 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 it's, it's, it's something you have to. It's not like the mitzvah tzitzis. Uh, lo- logic says that there's no mitzvah of uh, It says in the Torah, Right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a stealer. I'm a robber. I'm a thief. That's what I'm looking for. A thief. <laughs> I'm a thief. I'm stealing. And all of a sudden, I realize, Lozu Haderach, I don't want to steal anymore. So I stop stealing. That's your call. <laughs> you already have a mitzvah of Lysignai. You're Makayim the mitzvah, maybe, of Lysignai. I did Shuba? Obviously. Like, like, what's the mitzvah? A person is, uh, is is abusing another person. God forbid. You stop abusing another person. Yosher let's give him another one. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not, it's caution. Okay, it is a Yosher Koyach. There is a Yosher Koyach. It's not easy to change. But mitzvah? The mitzvah is, is not to do shuba. If you'll take a look at a beautiful, beautiful, well-quoted um, Mesha Chachma, or Meir Simcha, in, in Parshas Vayelach. He, he says that it can't be that there's a mitzvah of tshuva. He's explaining the Rambam. It can't be that there's a mitzvah of tshuva that I'm, I'm go to a rehabilitation center. This is not about self-improvement. It's not about self-help. It's not about a recovery center. Those are all wonderful things. They're things we have to do. But the Rambam says it's a given. Kishiyasa tshuva. You want to change your lifestyle to good? So now you have to do the mitzvah. And the mitzvah is the mitzvah of Vidu. Let's explain why is that the mitzvah. So when we when, when I asked, why does the Rambam start with Vidu? Why doesn't he start with Shuvah? The answer is he's starting with the mitzvah. The, 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 the Iker here is not, is not the Shuvah. Shuvah, as what we call Shuvah, is only a, um, a chetimsa of, of real Shuvah, which is Vidu. The Vidu is the mitzvah's essay. You know, if you, if you you can't say vidui without tshuva, it's called vidui path. It's one of the viduis. Achet shechatanu lefanachem, the vidui path. It's just the other. You can't you, you can't it, 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 that's vidui gufa. I don't know if it works, but that's vidui gufa. You can't achet shechatanu lefanachem vidui path. It's like 
writing out a check to Tzedakah for a billion dollars, they have nothing. You have nothing in the bank. You're balancing the check. You say Vidui, you have nothing behind it. You didn't do tshuva, so, so what's the point? On the other hand, you can do tshuva, or you can stop doing an Avera without Vidui. Why? It's not complete. It's not complete, but you did it. What is it? What is it? Uh, I'll tell you, Gewalt of Chazal that everybody quotes. Chazal said like this. I'm a Kaddish Isha. I'm a Nashani Tzadik Gomor. Afa Pishani Rasha Gomor. Afa Pishuhu Rasha Gomor. Chayshishin Kedush. Why? Shema here here of a Shuh. Gilman here of a Shuh. So, so the Gemara says, I hate the term, so. Makadosh Nisha, Russia, right? The head of the mafia, Makadosh Nisha. Okay, I'll be a tzaddik. <laughs> You'll marry me if I'll be a tzaddik? Yes, okay, I'll be a tzaddik. But you're a Russian. You just killed somebody a minute ago. What do you, what do you? So what? Uh, maybe Dilma here, Herbert Shub. Frank Dimin Chaskinov, so what if he was Mahar Herbert What happened to Vidui? <laughs> what did he do? He, he didn't do, he, he, even if you'll say in his mind, he was Makharat Allah Abba, and he has Kabbalah Allah Asif. And he's never going to do the chet again. Even if you'll say that, he's not doing tshuva because it's not vidui. Says the says the You know what? He's not doing tshuva, but he is a tzaddik gummer. Meaning he's a tzaddik gummer because he does because, because he's not doing any averes anymore. That's called a tzaddik gummer. Just like a little child is a tzaddik gummer because he doesn't do any averes anymore. But he doesn't have any kapara. So he's a tzaddik gummer walking because he, that's going to go to hell. Tzaddik gummer. Tzaddik gomor. Tzaddik means I have no, I'm not doing others. Because he didn't reconnect. Oh, we'll get to the connection. He didn't get the kapara. And he didn't, he didn't say the vidui. Why vidui? But, but I, I know that that's, that's what vidui is. A vidui, see, you see, a lot of people, a lot of people call themselves valet tshuva, let's say. You know, people talk like this, like I hear every day. My tshuva process started three years ago when I was on the birth. <laughs> um, that's when I realized that I'm Jewish and I started keeping kosher. And that's when I went home. I started making shabbos. Blah blah blah. Wonderful, beautiful. So the 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 question is, um, did they ever do tshuva? The, the question is, do we ever do tshuva? Uh, in other words, the, the Rambam says, hey, you made a, a wonderful lifestyle, but they don't get a kapara. This, so you this, call it Gomer? The Gemara says Tzadik Gomer. Rabbi Kadesh is like, Tzadik Gomer. So the, the, it, apparently, Hirhure Tshuva can make one into a Tzadik Gomer, but, but Kapara Nishta. And, and the ultimate in Tshuva is, is, is missing. This is an amazing, um, an amazing thing. Uh, I don't, so I don't, what, I don't, what is that result? Nothing. So what is that if that person without? Say, say vidui. Uh, in, in other words, vidui means that you say bedibur v'kol. That I did this and this up here. You think about it. You say v'kavon I don't. I don't think jokes of vidui. I don't think that's what, what it's all about. But um, like vidui, um, after one makes the changes, the Rambam says in Parish Beis, after one makes all the necessary changes, he says. Mahi Achuva, he goes through the whole process of Chuva, and then at the end he says, Bitsarikli Svadois Bisfasa Veloimer in Yanois Elo Shigamar Baliva. He has to be Misvada, this is the Ramam first card base, Halacha base, that after he makes all of the um, um, changes that has to be made, Sarikli Svadois Bisvasa Veloimer in Yanois Elo Shigamar Baliva, I say refer back to Parak Rishain. And you'll see why, because if, the, if there's no vidui, there's no anything. So if there's no tshuva, you haven't done the mitzvah. And worse, you haven't done the kapara. And worse, you haven't connected, as we're going to learn the nefesh to the rock. To the rock. So the, the connection is not there. So what is it? So it's not a, a person, you can rely on this person, that they've they made, they, they made a change. They've made a change. But the vidui somehow, which, which um, we still need to explain, but the vidui somehow has not taken place. Now, I just, I just while, while I'm on the subject, um, and I've been talking to Bali Chuba for years and years and years, but the, the like there's a, there's a feeling of, 
for a Baal Shuvah. I'm just giving good aid, so that's all I think. Uh, you know, the feel, feeling for a Baal Shuvah that I was a Tinnik Shanishma. So Tinnik Shanishma, um, I cannot have to do Shuvah. I'm, I'm born again. Excuse the expression. <laughs> um, okay, then not a Baal Shuvah. <laughs> It's not about Shuvah. I mean, other words, I, I, um, it's a big, 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 big machlekes. We're trying to whether a tinnik shenishba, you know, the case tinnik shenishba, somebody's captured by the Bayan. Never knew anything about Yiddish guy. Didn't even know he's Jewish. Finds out when he's right, the, the, right. Little child taken in by in a, in, a, in, a, in a convent during the Holocaust. Is this the same as Omen Witcher? This is called in Gemara. This is. Tinnik Shanishba, Rena Goyen. Didn't know anything. Comes the Hungarian Revolution, and I find out that I'm Jewish. <laughs> now, now I'm 20 years old. Okay, I'm Jewish. I want to be Jewish and do Jewish. Now, um, the, the, the Tinnik Shanishba. Has to do tshuva or he doesn't have to do tshuva. This person. I'm asking. Would that be? What? How would it be any real difference from like a korban process? Shoyge. Difference is one shoyge, one's onus. No das. No das. No chet. I'm, 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 what? This is shoyge. This is shoyge. or is it onus? No, ben zadu and ben shoyge. Bain Bezadin, Bain Bishkaga. Imer Mutter Shoyge. Imer Mutter Shoyge, you make a mistake. There's a difference between Shoyge and Oynas? Shoyge is referred to Omer Mutter, because you don't know. No, no there's seven times there's types of Shoyge. That's true. Uh, there's seven types of Shoyge. I, I forgot, I didn't know it was us, or there's, there's all kinds of Shoyge. But Oynas, there's like Masasik, the Chalob Varai, or the. Uh, Masasik. I had no idea it was Jewish. So that's not Shoige, that's Zoinus. So that's a Machoikus. The, 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 the Vart in Tinek Shanishba, the, the halachic ramification of Tinek Shanishba, is how are my miyaches to a Jew who has no idea that he's Jewish or never learned that he's Jewish? Or if you extend it to the Chassanish in the beginning of Chulam, uh, the Chulam of Shechita, uh, he talks about anybody who had no, no chinuch is, is, uh, is, is called the Tinnik Shemishma. The question there is, um, how are my miyaches to that Jew? Is he a Russia? He's not a Russia. So be nice to him. He's still reach. That's what the Chassanish is talking about. And it could be he doesn't even ask for your wine. It could be he doesn't, like, like he's a Tinnik Shemishma. Okay, but now he woke up and he found he finds out that he's Jewish. So does all of that Tinnik Shadishba pattern him from the Din of Tshuva? Of course not. That's not talking about Shuba, it's talking about our yachas to them. Of course you have to do Tshuva. Tshuva because he's misaligned. It's like a person's anointness, they couldn't learn Tyra, they're not a Talmud You don't become a Talmud you still have to learn Tyra. So Tshuva is, I am misaligned, it's not my fault and you, and, 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 you know, everybody should like me and even give me an Ali and Shul and everything. Uh, you know, it's I'm not misaligned, but I am misaligned. I'm, I'm, I, my nefesh is not connected to my ruch, and I haven't done shuba. This, this is this is this is the opportunity of a lifetime now. Now that you know that you're Jewish, do shuba. That's the push of shot. Where's the machlokas? Machlokas is if an oynus has to do shuba. So the machlokas is a tinnik shenishba shoygeg or an oynus. Where does a child do tshuva for a sin they didn't know the child? It wasn't a bar for you. So he all, saying, no, he, why not? Because he didn't know the message. He's not. No, no, there he doesn't have any das. Here he didn't use his das. He didn't he, know. It's just, a, a person who doesn't have any das is like a doyme. He didn't have das. They didn't it wasn't an avera. Was Jewish, it's not an avera. It's not an avera. He's not a bar for you. But here, this, he, it certainly is an avera. It's an avera, but it's an avera bonus. No or b'shoyge. That's the shayla. It's no use bar do this, I feel you. I'm Oynes. I'm not Bachil. Do I have to do Tshuva? Who said you're not a Bachil? Of course you have to do Tshuva. I have to do Tshuva, so that was nice? Yeah. Otherwise, how would you ever have the uh, Gimel Averis? You know, I, 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 I
is Menoinus. Bow down to is our Alphilia. Menoinus, I'm not there. Why not? Anonymous. If anonymous means I'm not doing anything, anonymous <laughs> doesn't mean I'm not doing anything. It means that maybe it means maybe it means I'm puttered from anonymous, but but that has nothing to do with shuma. Is he misaligned in onus? An onus is I, I, this is the shogeg is for sure misaligned. Uh, before she bring a korban chattas, right? That's, that's before she the chuba. She bring a korban. Why have to bring korban chattas if I'm a shogeg? I'm a shogeg. What do I do wrong? So the, so the answer is that you still misaligned yourself. So you have to do chuba. And by anonymous, it's it's unclear. So it's unclear, it's too too straight straight. But but what I'm saying is that even, even if you'll say that a tinachanishpa is an oinus, it only applies to some of the mitzvahs. Like I could explain why I ate shrimp. I could explain why I didn't put on tefillin, but it's hard for me to explain why I stole from people. Or why did I ever lie? Or why was I abusive to another person? Or why did I embarrass somebody in public? How, 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 my, well, I wasn't from. I, I heard once that uh, somebody was becoming a Balchuba, so they um, said to the Beis Yisrael Gareb, they said, uh, you know, I, it's all beautiful, and I love Yiddish and everything else, but uh, when I go to Shul, everybody's talking, like, what's up with the, what's up with the talk from Jews? And, from Jews, FFPs, and they're all talking. So the Gareb told them, leave them alone, they're all Tinnitch and Ishma. Shailos, who's the Tinnitch and Ishma? Who's the all Tinnitch and Ishma? Okay, I, I, look, I, I'm, I just want to say that, like, Bechoyro, because while I'm here, this is not really our Sugi here, but, uh, like, it, it's, it's Kedai, Bechoyro is Kedai, to say vidui. In other words, a person goes through their life and the whole apachas, and they study each one of the of the vidui, and say one, two, say vidui once. If I had the koach, I'm being mavatal saying it over a hundred times. But say, say, say it once, but say it correctly, or say, you know, a quarter here and a quarter by the next one, a quarter by the next one. I'm not pascoming them, just saying what I do. <laughs> just, just say peace, 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 but say it properly. It's like mahat be kavon and mehar be kavon. And, and but the idea is to focus on you know lotzayin. You don't have to be from to be oyrach had shachatasil v'nachav lotzayin giloy arayus. I had an affair. That's for sure. Lived with somebody else's wife. It's hard to say to but how much was enough? <laughs> you know, it's 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 hard to say on a lot of averus to I hear the chukim maybe, but it's, and even on chukim. But if he he still should do chuba. I mean, you the wrong about your son about the, the dust. So if he's the same non Jewish person and things, I think ethically I shouldn't be uh, doing this. It's not the same as, as a Jew saying, I'm commanded by Joshua Bob not to do this. Just say it, so still you have to do chuba. But I mean, is it. We're going against your own sense. That, what's, that, what's that ethical conscious? It's, it's, uh, he's not doing it because, because he had a sibling to it. When, when we do it, we don't do it, we do it when we have a sibling. You know, by the way, the, 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 the Chazanish says, that today everybody's a tinnitus and ishma. And <laughs> I guess he includes from people in that, like the basic struggle. <laughs> like, everybody's a tinnitus and ishma. Why? Because nobody gets a good chinuch anymore. Since the Gemara says that, Rav Tarpin says nobody knows how to give teichacha, and then they argued with them and said, no, nobody knows how to take teichacha. So probably they're both true. So how could you ever be a, 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 a everybody's tinnish and nishma? But I just want to say chazanish, chazanish, uh, my hero. But everybody argues with them. Um, every, every, the Chafetz Chaim, the, the Rav Shlom Zaman Orbach, uh, later Rav Yashiv, um, Rav Yashiv writes like Nero Lee Klau. We're talking about like the, the people here. Let's take about, let's talk about Eretz Yisrael. So um, to say, what would you say? Like all the chilonim are tinnik shenishpa? Brought up on a keyboard, it's tinnik shenishpa? Um, so, so Rav Shlom Zalman, Rav Yosha, they're not tinnik shenishpa. I, I was uh, driving back from the north on the other day, so I listened to a beautiful, beautiful Dvar Halach on the radio on Friday. Um, from Rav uh, Avram Yosef. 
Rav Avram Yosef, you heard that? Oh, exactly the same. So beautiful the way he speaks now. It's so 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 sweet. So he's talking about the mitzvah of having to pick up somebody um, on the uh, road. Let's say you see somebody in trouble. So since the Torah says that if you see uh, somebody whose shore is broken on the side of the road, you have to stop your car. So you have to stop your car for um, somebody whose car is broken down and pick them up. So he, he says, like you can say, that um, look, if it's a chiloni, um, so maybe I don't have to pick him up because it says uh, the whole thing is reyecha. It could be reyecha, it's not reyecha. So he goes on and he says that um, the, the, how can you say that he's not reyecha? Everybody has all those people, they have some kind of a, a connection, some kind of a spark, and, and, and they have some kind of a, a, a Yidea and Yiddishkeit, and of course he's Reach, and, and, um, and, and if you think about what he's saying, he's saying they're not Tzedek that's, that's what he's saying. They, they all have some type of a, a, of a Yiddishkeit, and the Shem's working, and of course, this that they don't know is just Peshoigeg, this that they don't do is just Peshoigeg, they're not Peshita against it, and of course you should help the guy on the road, unless they're from the reform movement. <laughs> I was like, I almost lost my control. Like, <laughs> okay, there went 93% of American Jewry. <laughs> was their report? I mean, like, his mind, like, okay, then you're a masculine, you know, like, then you're, you have no cash. So um, I humbly argue that, uh, that uh, also, also to say, I don't know, here, if I, I'm not talking about the politics, but of course, uh, like, uh, you didn't have a cashier, you just you just touch a Jew, and he's talking about Yiddish guy, and he's bangling you. Yeah, and that, that but if you grow up in a in a home, in a society, in a community that that forces you to think that way, what else would you expect them to think? The cider. So that, I'm just saying that only works for about fifty percent of, of of behavior. So I'm saying I, I if a person calls themselves, I'm not, uh, we could discuss it. For, uh, just, if a person calls themselves about tshuva, so do tshuva. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And and doing tshuva means Safe equally. The person was telling me last week, about Shuva, he said, um, you know, he, he was with his uh, when, with his father when he was dying before he, before he became about Shuva uh, ten years ago. He was with his father who was dying, and uh, the doctor said the right thing to do is to um, let him go. Let him go means pull out the plug and kill him. You know, um, homicide. Um, that's that's what the doctor said. So the, all the brothers came together and they sat around the bed and they said goodbye to dad and they pulled out the plug, and uh, or whatever they do, shut off the machine, and and let him go. So we and they thought they were doing a, a you know a good thing, I, you know. But um, so he says to me now, he says I, I'm, I'm I'm walking around with this. I have to do chupa. I, I, I killed I killed my father. He says, right, so, I mean I calmed him down, but. <laughs> Grown up in Ezekiel and Mutter, Mutter, but by by Eitzate was so you said say Vidui. In fact, you just said Vidui. That, that, that was that was Vidui. Vidui. He, he said but he said Vidui. I heard the Vidui. But like it's not so posh to me. You can say Tenishanishma. Maybe yes. The doctors force you to think this way. By the way, the society forces you to think this way. But it, but it, it, it's not necessarily a tour to go against what's what's said. So I, I'm just I'm saying Vidui. Tachlis, just to get back to the point, um, let's realign. <laughs> that, that we're going to have to get back to Nefesh Achayim because there's so much, um, um, so much to understand here. But what I, what I what I do want to understand is that the first step of tshuva, the only, the, the real step of tshuva is vidui. You could be a ganze tzaddik without vidui, but vidui, which means to meaningfully articulate, the Rambam says in Parak Beis. As I read to you, that, that you should. The Rambam says, "Parak Beis, Zorich Lis Vadois Bisvasa Veloimar in Yanois Elo Shadomar Belibo." After I've Charak Alos, after I've Kabbal Alos, and after I've just, I've, 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 I really um, have done everything that I can do, and I really feel like a changed person. Zorich Lis Vadois Bisvasa Veloimar in Yanois Elo Shadomar Belibo. You have to say it. You have to articulate it with your lips. The Svasa, Akimas Svasaim. It's a Jewish thing, you know. The Jews are the only ones you see going, <laughs> moving their lips without saying anything. <clears throat> like you learn it from Khan, right? Um, the, 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 this is, this is, it has to have a Misa with it, a Misa with it. 
Choliot, even this is part of like Misa, you have to have a Misa. So Bidui is the Misa and the Limisa of Shuva. So on this, the Rambam says, Kishiyasa Shuva, Sarechli is Vadis. Now, uh, um, I just want to end just two, min two minutes before, and then I guess on the Sunday we'll finish, we'll do the Nefesh Achayim. But I, I just want to say this, that the, the Rambam learns the mitzvah of tshuva from this Pasuk, as he says, from the Pasuk in Bamidbar, Parshish Nasei, Bisvadu es chatosam shiras. You'd have to say Vidu. And in Sefer Mitzvahs of the Rambam, it's it's in Bamidbar. That's that's where he talks about it. Um, it's fine. Gimel is mitzvahs vidui. He doesn't have a mitzvahs tshuva per se. He calls it mitzvahs vidui. That's what it's called, mitzvahs vidui. Again, like the Arsameyak says, like the Meshachachim says, it's not a, not a mitzvah or tshuva. Tshuva is a prerequisite for saying vidui. You're getting a cup part. Of course, you have to stop stealing. Of course, obviously, you have to stop eating shit. The Ramban um, learns the mitzvah of tshuva from Parshish Nitzavim. The Shafta Adashemali, which is a much more obvious place to learn Shiva. I want to just show you the one more thing. If you look in part of Persian, something this is fascinating. You look at this in a whole new way here. Some of Moshe Rabbeinu is talking. Atem Tzavim Ayyem Kulchem. So this is Moshe Rabbeinu's Nebu. V'haya ki yavoyo alaf v'kol advarim ha'ele ha'brocha v'ha'klola asher nasati l'fanecho. You've hit life. Life smacks you in the face, right? You see bracha. You see klola. You see life. It's not so posh. Right? Ha'brocha v'ha'klola. I'm rich, I'm poor, I'm sick, I'm healthy. What should you do? Says Moshe Rabbein. Says Hashem. Even in your gullus, even your it's a faraway land. Tinik you see bracha, you see klala. Listen to the message. Moshe is saying, if, if you find yourself in Golos, and you find yourself with Brachas and Klolos, the Holocaust. And what what's to do? So he says, what's to do is You found yourself where? In Poland, in Morocco, in whatever person problems are. That's not yet the mitzvah of Chuba. What is that? The next thing you have to do, start to think. Do start the chuba process. Ashivaisa. Next thing is Vashavta, this the Ramban says is the mitzvah of Chuba. Argues with the Ramban. Vashavta and Hashem Lekapa. Vishamata Bekola Bekola Shem Vishamata Bekoiloi. The Kola Sharanakim Tav Chayyim. Atta Uvanacha. Now listen to this. Bechol Levavacha. Bechol Levavacha. Uvachol Nafshecha. Now you have to engage your lave and your nefesh. You get it? Your lave and your nefesh. When you do that's that's the, what the pasuk here is talking about. Even according to the Ramban, the Ramban says not totally in vidui. It seems to me, but what the Ramban says it's totally in vashi vaisel Think. It's a, it's, a, it's a mental process, and then vishavta. And then, result, and this is a result, it's not a schar, it's a result. Vishav Hashem Alekecha Shivuscha Berichamecha, and any Amaritz who says that the Geula 
is not written in the Chumash should read this one simple passage. That, that when we do tshuva, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will return to us. Shav Hashem Alekecha Shibuscha. Hashem will chaperone our return. Where are we returning to? Eretz Yisrael. Simple. There will be a kibbutz galios, asher afitzcha, Hashem alikach Hashama, and you will undo the galus which Hakadosh Baruch Hu sent you out to them. This is Hashmar Esri. This is Chumash. Bishav yikabetzcha, Hashem alikach, Bishav yikachach. And what's he going to do with you? Have yacho Hashem alikach al Oretz. Don't bring us here. Eretz Yisrael. Asher Yerushua HaVesecha, which I'm from Yitzhak Yaakov over here, the Yerishta. Rashi says, listen, why does it say Veshav HaShem Lekech, which is said Veheshiv? So Amar of Shem Bar Yechai says, Rashi, because the Kodesh Baruch goes out into Gaul's with us. Veshav, he himself is coming back. The Kibbutz Gaul is the Kodesh Baruch himself. Shem Tov Gaul is the Kodesh Baruch himself. Veheviyach HaShem Lekech, Alors Asher Yerushua HaVesecha, the Yerishta, Veheitimcha, Veheirbacha, Veheavesecha, and all of the brachas of the gula will come. All of which, parsha that's over here. Where is it coming from? Shul. So Ramban argues with the Ramban, and he says that the mitzvah of tshuva is not v'isvadu, but the mitzvah of tshuva, which the Ramban doesn't bring this as a mitzvah, is for the mitzvah of v'shavta, v'shavta ad hashem alikach. The the um, shavta ad hashem alikach. See, uh, so uh, the, the tzukim here become very, very important. But really what I want to point out is that when we talk about tshuva, so we always talk about v'ashe v'yso l'vavecha. You know, uh, what did uh, Shlomo say? Return to who you are, return to what you are. <laughs> that's not tshuva. That's return again. <laughs> that's not tshuva. Uh, that's v'ashe v'yso l'vavecha. That's the passage before tshuva. Then, Veshavta, not to yourself. Not Vashay Vaisal of Avecha, but Veshavta, Ad Hashem Alikecha. But what it really means is realignment. Because what's happening here is that by me, take Vashay Vaisal El Levavecha, then I'm creating, realigning the pipe, and it's Veshavta, Ad Hashem Alikecha. And when I'm Veshavta, Ad Hashem Alikecha, not only are we not being misparnished from the Klipois of the Sitra Achra of Golos, but we have the Geula. The Geula is, it means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with us in this, and now life is the way it's supposed to be. So you say, can you tell? I'm just, can you tell? Well, yeah, because if the Geula is here, you can tell. The whole Klai Yisrael needs a chiropractic alignment. It has to get back to, to, to where, it, where it's supposed to be. And, and then, um, you know, if anybody thinks that, that um, life is normal, so just read the news. <laughs> Life is not, is it, what's, what's normal about it? They just get uh, car rammings here, decapitations there. What's, what's normal? I mean, there's nothing normal. About it. There's nothing normal about the, the kings and the presidents of the world. There's nothing normal about them. But, but it's, not, it's not normal. But what that is, is that that's, that's klipas, tuma, that's all misalignment. And what we need to do is get back on track. So think about it. So it starts off with Lubavetha. It ends up with Ad Hashem Alekecha, because now, and then, and, and then, Veshav Hashem Vekibetzcha, Yeri Chamecha, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is Mekadis So, I'm here Sunday, we'll get to the Nebuchadnezzar. There's a Ramban, although nobody's going to explain the Nebuchadnezzar, that's the second one. He doesn't bring it. He doesn't bring it, even by beating, he's a normal, he's a car. Plumbing for a goy.